Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, we got WrestleMania predictions, and as you can tell, I am not excited for this pay-per-view at all. Um, It's just like, first of all, it doesn't feel like WrestleMania season, you know what I mean? Maybe it's because I'm getting older and WrestleMania just doesn't hit the same anymore. Or maybe it's because it's been a terrible build-up. Or maybe because it's now two nights. Or maybe because we're getting stupid matches. Like... If you look at this card, we're getting matches like Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Like, you know, no offense to Omos, but I just do not care what he does in the WWE. I, I cannot stand the dude. You know, obviously, I'm happy Bobby Lashley's back. He's getting a WrestleMania match. He deserves everything. But come against Omos? Like, come on. Against Omos. Like, you could have easily had Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley for the US title. That would have been a banger match. Instead, Finn Balor's not even defending the title at WrestleMania. I mean, like, come on. How do you how do how do you have guys like Finn Balor not participate at WrestleMania? It's mind-boggling to me. But anyways, I'm gonna do night one predictions for this video and then night two tomorrow because if I do all one video, it's like 15 matches. This video will be like 20 minutes long. So I'm gonna do night one today and then post night two tomorrow. But yeah, my excitement level, like I said, for this WrestleMania. I mean, it's terrible. Like, <laughs> I am not excited for WrestleMania. It doesn't feel like WrestleMania. Like I said, maybe it's because I'm getting older. Maybe because, you know, this year's buildup has been terrible. The matches we're getting are going to be terrible. But yeah, let's get on to the first match. First match, let's talk about Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. This is for the SmackDown Women's Champion. And I think, a, like, last week or something, it was the main event for night one. Now they're putting the KO show for the main event, I'm pretty sure. So this probably will be the, like the main event match. Like match wise, this will be the main event. But to close out the show, they will do uh, KO and Stone Cold the segment, whatever. But oh man, this this build has been terrible. Like this does not deserve night one WrestleMania, like uh, main event. I would like if we're sticking with the women's side of like main event, B uh, Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair, like easily could have been the main event of night one but instead we're getting this and like like i said the ter the build-up has been terrible it's it's been bad like like when ronda rousey returned to the wwe i was one for one like thrilled that she was back but when she cuts a promo it it, it seems like she doesn't even want to be there it's like me making this video i don't even want to make this video because wrestlemania is bad but it just doesn't feel like she wants to be there and you could tell she hates the crowd. Like, I don't know, man. I can't buy what Ronda's doing. Like, she needs a manager. You know what I mean? She needs a manager, like, desperately. Because she cannot cut a promo. But uh, my prediction is Ronda Rousey. I think she's winning the match. It's kind of predictable. And they even advertised her on, like, the European tour when, when they go to Europe. So, like, you know, why would she be in the Europe tour if she's not going to win the title? You know what I mean? So it's pretty obvious. I think Ronda Rousey is going to win this match. Let's move on to the next one. Now let's stick with the women's side. What I think should have been night one main event is Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. Now this storyline has been, you know, decent. Not anything special, but long-term storytelling, you know, I'd give it pretty good because it's been a pretty long build to this match if you really think of it. Um... Becky Lynch returned at SummerSlam, defeated Bianca Belair for the title, and now we're back again. So SummerSlam was in, what, August? We're in April now. So, you know, the build has been pretty long, but it's been underwhelming. Like, you could have done more. You know, with a buildup this long, I was kind of expecting more. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard. I don't I don't know. But it's pretty obvious um, Bianca Blair is going to win the match. You know, what's the point of having her lose build up to a WrestleMania match to have her lose her redemption match? You know what I mean? So I got Bianca Belair winning this match and I cannot wait for another title run of hers. Then we got the Usos versus um, Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And to be honest, I think Rick Boogs and Nakamura are winning this match because the crowd is over with them, and the Usos have held the title for almost a full year. 
So, you know, I think there's no more com- like there's no more competitors left for the Usos to beat on SmackDown besides the new like this team right here. So, you know, it would make no sense for the Usos to win because then, you know, who else would they face? You know what I mean? They've beaten everyone on SmackDown. And, you know, like I said, the crowd is over with Nakamura and Book. So I think we're going to get new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So that's my prediction for that. And then we got the Mysterios versus The Miz and Logan Paul. And you know what? In my opinion, I like Logan Paul in the WWE. I don't know why. All right. Now, don't get me hate for this, but it's it's an unpopular opinion. I really, not really like, but I like Logan Paul in the WWE because you know why? The crowd generally hates him. Like, he gets real hate. You know what I mean? Like, The Miz, like, he plays a character, like, you know, right? Like, people don't like him because he's a heel. But, like, the crowd generally hates Logan Paul. Like, the WWE crowd hates Logan Paul. And when he comes out, like, he gets a loud reaction of boo. And you know what? The Miz and Logan Paul, they're great together. Their chemistry, everything. They're just two douchebags. You know what I mean? Like, that people just hate. And I really like Logan Paul and The Miz working together. You know, they're both from Cleveland. You know, I guess they got that going for them. But obviously, winner-wise, I got the Mysterios winning this match. It would make no sense for The Miz and Logan Paul to to win this match. But, you know, like I said a couple months ago, I really like The Miz. The Miz is one of the most unappreciated workers in the WWE. does not get the recognition he deserves from us, the universe, the WWE crowd. And like I said, it sucks that The Miz is losing at, you know, like big pay-per-views. Like, you know, he lost to Rey Mysterio at uh, Crown Jewel, I think. And then he lost to Edge like twice. Now he's going to lose at, at this match. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to lose. So, you know, like I said, I hope we get another mid-card title run from The Miz because, you know what, he deserves it. Yeah, I guess this is a small appreciation for The Miz. But yeah, I got The Mysterios winning though. Drew McIntyre versus Baron Corbin. I got Drew McIntyre winning this match, and that's all for this because I don't care about this match. Bathroom break. And it gets worse at this point. We got um, the the Usos. What the hell? The New Day. This is how much I really care about uh, WrestleMania this year. We got the New Day versus Ridge Holland and Sheamus. Like, why is this on WrestleMania, bro? Like, I swear we saw this on SmackDown. Anyways, like, this is what I mean by WrestleMania sucks. It feels like a participation trophy for everyone. Like, you know, everyone needs to be on the card. Why? Why is this on the card? Kickoff show, I understand. But the main card? This is stupid, honestly. I got the uh, the Usos. What? Why do I keep seeing the Usos? I got the New Day winning this match. I don't really care about this match. Now I saved up the best for last. Seth Rollins versus a mystery opponent. It's It's got to be Cody Rhodes. Like, come on. If it's not Cody Rhodes, who could it be? Who? Who could it be? Like, think of it. WWE released so many superstars. Who the hell could it be? It's got to be Cody Rhodes. And I am so looking forward. Like, this match here, I'm looking forward to. I Cody Rhodes is going to win the match. Like, he's not even confirmed for this match. But I'm just going to say Cody Rhodes is winning the match. Because who else would it be unless if it's like john cena for some reason i don't know like the only person i could see that it's not cody is john cena or they bring back bray wyatt because you know seth rollins and bray wyatt have a long history with each other or braun Strowman. those are the only three people i could really think of if it's not cody rose john cena bray wyatt or braun Strowman. but obviously it's got to be cody rhodes they've been teasing it and, you know, the build, they've been building it for months now. So it's got to be Cody Rhodes. And obviously, in his return to WWE, he's going to win the match. And I think that's all. I think I got every match on Saturday for night one. If I didn't, if I missed any, I will comment it down below in the comments. And yeah, this is your Saturday WrestleMania. Pretty bad. Yeah. Like I said, I'm only looking forward to two matches. Uh, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Bianca, Becky, and you know, the Mysterios versus um, Logan Paul and The Miz. I'm looking forward to three matches on Saturday, so you know, not bad. Like half the card, (laughs) pretty much. Yeah, man. Um, That's going to do it. Tell me what you guys think of night one. (sighs) WrestleMania needs to go back to in one night.
If WrestleMania was one night, this card wouldn't look too bad because we wouldn't be getting matches like Baron Corbin versus Drew McIntyre, um, Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville, Omos versus Bobby Lashley, The New Day versus Rich Holland. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't be getting these pointless matches if WrestleMania was one night. Anyways, WrestleMania needs to go back to one night. Like, bad. Like, bad, bad. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it in peace.